This is a short video that will show you how to unlock a submission to revert to draft mode for your trainee. There's a variety of reasons why this could happen, but it's almost exclusively used after a submission has been signed off by the assessor. So what I'm going to do here is just show you that uh, I'm logged in as an assessor and I'm in my uh, messages inbox and I've received a bit of uh, feedback that via the messaging system from my trainee that uh, he says that uh, he's just realized that his ECG report contains patient identifiable information asking me to please unlock it. Now this is a submission that as the assessor I have already signed off. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click to open the submission using the link in the message. And it's a very easy process. You can see right up here in the top right corner is a small padlock icon. What I'm going to do is click that padlock icon right there and this will unlock the submission. Now it's asking who should this submission be unlocked to? Uh, should it be unlocked to my trainee or should it be unlocked to me as the assessor? In this case I'm going to unlock this submission to the trainee and uh, I must provide reason for unlocking the submission if I try to unlock it without providing any information then I will receive a message that says this is required. So I'm just going to leave a message here that says patient identifiable information. Simple as that. I'll click the unlock button there. One file asks me am I sure that I want to do this? I will click OK. And I now have no tasks to complete and I can confirm that that submission will now have gone back to the trainee in draft mode. The trainee will then receive a task up in this section here that will indicate that the submission has been unlocked for their use.